Now I would, uh, we have friends from Dallas and when we were, Rajit and Ranit were growing up in Dallas, we, we are friends for a long, long time. So those friends have traveled to Minnesota after we are meeting them after 20 years. So we have some uh, friends and Sudipto representing them would like to speak a little bit about his, uh, uh, what you call, reliving the old memories. Good evening, everybody. Uh, today, Ranjan, my friend, asked me to say a few words. All I can say is, I am so, I, it, is, uh, it gives me so much joy and is a privilege to do so. Before I start, I want my Dallas friends to stand up so everybody can know who they are. Please. There we go. A big hand of applause. I met Ranjan about a uh, quarter century ago in uh, Dallas. He was uh, visiting Rotary Exchange Program. He, was, he had come to Dallas area and I was also a Rotary Scholar. That's how I met him for the first time. Subsequently, he decided to do his graduate program and I took him to the school and then he joined and after a year or so, Ranjana and Dimpu and Pimpu came joined. I still cannot call them Rajit and Ronit because they still are Dimpu Pimpu to me. <laughs> so we have gone back almost two decades and this reminds me of a very old uh, Bengali movie. Um, the name is Oronne Dinratri. It was a very old movie where all the actors acted in that movie and subsequently after a few decades they made another sequel called Aranne, uh, Abar Aranne. The English translation is In the Wilderness Day and Night and the sequel was Again in the Wilderness. We all the friends from Dallas feel privileged that we are almost like in that, we are living that history in through those movies. Dimpu Pimpu used to be small little chubby kids jumping on my shoulder and our shoulders. He was a fine chubby young boy. <laughs> Today he has turned out to be a handsome, chisel-faced, intelligent GQ man <laughs> who is available no more. <laughs> Vipasha, I can tell you one thing, that I have seen Dimpu grow through the blessing of his parents. He is a wonderful, fine young man. I can vouch that he will give you a lot of joy and happiness. But only two things I will leave for the happiness is marriage is not a bed of roses. There will be some thorns. When you see the thorn, look at the glass half full. Don't look at the glass half empty because that will bring you joy. Second rule, marriage is a beautiful union of two most imperfect people. So don't look for perfectness because you'll not find one. With that, cheers to you and good luck. Oh. We, I have some picture, thanks to our friends from 25, 20 years ago and now, which we like to share. This is the old picture where you can see the one on the floor is Pimpu and Dimpu is standing there and we are all the friends, most of the friends over here today. I'm in the middle with a blue shirt. I'm not a gangster by the way, okay? <laughs> and the next picture, this is today. Most of the friends are here. So it's really a pleasure and a privilege to be here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sudipto. If you could please raise your glasses and join me in toasting the bride and the groom. May they have a long life and wonderful marriage. To the bride, 
and the group. Raj Vipasa and Raji. So earlier in the evening, we had uh, Vipasha's two brothers come in and talk about what's important when you're in a com when when you're married to Vipasha, how to deal with that situation. I'm gonna give you the uh, the Rajit version, right? Yeah. I've I've titled this. Uh, it was titled something else. I've retitled this. Two simple rules for dealing with the husband who was an experimental subject for his parents. <laughs> So, so rule number one, when he's asleep, do not put his leg in an ice bath water. <laughs> or, uh, uh, yeah, an ice bath. <laughs> Don't do that. He doesn't like that. <laughs> rule number two, if you're ever in a situation where, you're, where you guys can't agree on something, just say, you want some tea. <laughs> and have some tea. And I feel like that's the time when Dada is most likely relaxed and open to whatever is really on your mind. So, and plus, he makes an amazing, amazing chai. So, that's a, that's a, that, those are my two simple rules for dealing with Rajiv. <laughs> you. You know, since you all made it out here to Minneapolis and, and we're here for Vipasha and Raj's wedding, I wanted to um, share something with you that you might not have known before. Uh, and that is where Vipasha and Raj first met. They actually met at one of the hottest singles clubs in all of Plymouth, Minnesota. All of it. Can you guys guess? Chaya Auntie's house. Chaya and Ravi Janardhan, who will, who will be alluded to in the, uh, in the video you're going to watch, uh, have run a holiday party that is a mixing center for Indians and people from all over the Plymouth area and actually from all over the state. And there, often, people from different communities in India will mix over uh, pakoras, over gravies, over all sorts of things and get to know each other and then meet each other by chance years later and be like, yeah, I remember that person. <laughs> they were pretty cool. So just keep that in mind in your future uh, planning needs. If you need uh, a place for, uh, uh, if, if you want to meet new interesting people, you would not think that uh, Chaya and Ravi Auntie's house would be the place to go. It was a whirlwind, and it was amazing celebrating over there uh, with our family. And it was pretty surprising how quickly we decided to um, do the wedding in India. And I know he wanted his grandparents to be there, and I wanted all my mommy G's, my bua G's, my cousins. And, um, all these people that took care of us every year, every time we'd go to India, I'd always think we wanted to have a big party there for them. So it was great to celebrate there, not just for the party, but for the blessings. Um, every day we had a different puja, I swear to God, I think it was like every three hours. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> but it was great, you know, it was, it was um, unreal how caring you know, everybody was, and um, a truly spiritual experience, and uh, worth the uh, logistical nightmare of planning a wedding in Delhi. <laughs> but, um, but we didn't want to forget Minnesota. Uh, we had a huge community here that became like family to us in many ways. Um, we spent weekends in people's homes, and. Um, practically grew up with all the kids here and um, really meant a lot to us the support that we've been getting from everyone whether it's us directly or our parents and um, Baba and Mamiji every one of you is here for a reason and we really appreciate you so thank you so much for taking the time to come <laughs> Um, I agree with everything she said. <laughs> I'm learning pretty quick, right? <laughs> so I've been told. Um, no, but she's, she's absolutely right. We are so humbled and so appreciative of all of you here tonight taking time out of your busy schedules and life events and everything else to make time 
to celebrate with us. I mean, it's, it's amazing. amazing. And so I just want to acknowledge everybody here and thank you from the bottom of our hearts, the fact that you were able to make it tonight. Um, there are people coming in from all over the place. Um, my cousins, I love them dearly, and that's the table right there, and give her a shout to those people there. I, they're, my cousins and their family, I, they're, you know, I love you guys so much. <laughs> and honestly, and we have so many family from all over the place, and from Boston, Dadu, absolutely, and Nanu, absolutely. Thank you so much, and it's been a great ride, and Vipash is absolutely right. You know, we would have never met had it not been for our community here, and that's, that's very real. That's, that's our connection. That's how it started 16 years ago, as Akash alluded. <laughs> so thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great night, and uh, thanks again. One more thing. I really, really want to thank our parents for this. We're so thankful that in our culture it's still expected that parents plan the weddings for their children because there is no way, <laughs> absolutely no way we would have been able to do this. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>